The Unity Black Friday sale is here, and if you're addicted to buying assets like I am, well then I got great news, there's plenty on sale for you to do so. Whether you want to grab some tools to help you build your next stunning world, if you want to grab some assets that'll help you make your next immersive VR experience, or just snag a Unity tool that'll help you out with your workflow, this Black Friday sale has plenty to pick from. I'm just going to point out a few of them that I absolutely love and use myself or am considering buying, and if any of these sound interesting to you throughout the video, Video, I will have affiliate links below. It helps me out, helps the channel out, and I do appreciate it, and it's no extra cost to you. So thank you so much. Now, hopping into the Black Friday sale, the first thing I want to show is the flash deals. Now, the flash deals seem to be the biggest way to get a discount, and the way these are going to work is the first 24 hours, it's going to be 70% off. The next 24 hours, it is going to be 60% off, and then the following rest of the sale, it's going to be 50% off. So, a good example here would be this little bundle which is a combination of Hurricane VR and Hexabody VR. And these two assets alone, if you do VR development, are easily some of the best. One is a full physics-enabled system that allows you to mimic crouching and hopping up on things with your player. You can slide down a rope if you want. It is very, very impressive physics. And then the other one is a fully featured framework that allows you to grab items, use weapons, shoot guns, you can pick up a sword and stab bags. It is very very, very feature complete and extendable. So if you haven't gotten this yet, I mean, on the flash sale, I would absolutely get it for 70% off, 60% off, or even 50% off. It is easily one of the best, if not the best, VR asset that you can purchase. Next up, we have Feel. Now, Feel is a nice tool to allow you to enhance your games with responsiveness and player engagement by providing over 150 feedbacks, which include screen shaking, transform animation, sound effects, particle effects, physics interactions, and post-processing effects, and UI animations. Feel is just just a great way to give your game a little more punch when your users are interacting with it. And it's tried, it's tested, it's been around for a very, very long time. Now, if you're a VR developer, I'm going to warn you, some of the effects won't work. I mean, the post-processing effects aren't going to play the nicest in VR, but there's plenty of other effects that you can use here. And I would say for $25, that is saving you a ton of time instead of you having to implement all these little tiny things. Getting 150 different ways to put feedback into your game and, and have your users experience just a little more oomph and juice in your game, I don't think that's too bad. Another thing I want to mention about Feel is they actually have insane documentation. They have tons that you can look through, how to get started, core concept. You have a list of all the feedbacks that you can use. And if you want to explore and try things out. They even have a whole entire recipe list that you can have fun with. So again, feel this is just a well-documented, well-thought-out, and well-made asset. This next one is going to be Final IK, which stands for Inverse Kinematic. So what this is, is a com comprehensive inverse kinematic solution for Unity Develop. It offers a whole suite of different inverse kinematic solvers and systems, including a full body, biped, limb aim, look at, rotation constraints, and interaction systems. Now, if you don't know all these phrases and terms, long story short, what it allows you to do is dynamically animate your character slash procedurally generate your character's movements based on their joints and actions. So if you're doing VR development, this actually works really, really well in animating your VR characters. That is how all these characters move along in VR is using inverse kinematics. And this system is very simple to implement. I've used it myself. I've put it in my games and before you know it, you will have a fully moving body inside of virtual reality that you can walk around with. And if you're not doing VR, it's still very useful to have inverse kinematics. Again, if you haven't bought this, especially if you develop for VR, Final IK, I think, is an 100% must, especially at $45. Now, this one is just for me. If you guys want it, I hope you do. If you don't, well, that's on you. I just love these guys. I love everything about it. The Quirky Series Animals Mega Pack Volume 1 is on sale for $26. It's a flash sale right now, so if you see this, it might be 60% or 50% off. Either way, I mean, look at these guys. How do you not want them? Is it a shocker that the person who calls themselves the shrimp, you know, wants quirky, cute animals? 
animals in their life. So yeah, I'm probably gonna buy this. Am I ever gonna use it in a game? No, but you know, I don't know. It's, you guys are gonna do the same thing, so whatever. All right, like go out, buy the quirky animals. I'm gonna buy the quirky animals. I have a problem. I need to stop buying so many assets, but whatever. Now this one I actually looked into because I ended up making my own pathfinding system and it wasn't too difficult to make, but I could see that making a full pathfinding system on my own would be a huge pain in the butt. So if you are ever thinking of making a game using pathfinding and don't want to go through all the trouble of making one yourself, especially hammering out all the bugs that would come with making a pathfinding system, then you should consider using pathfinding project pro. Now this thing has been in the unity asset store for a hot minute. It is tried, true and tested as plenty of reviews tell you whether or not it is worth using. And well, guess what? It is worth using. Now, when it comes to navigating, it offers a multiple of graph types, including grid, nav mesh, point graph, allowing you a lot of different flexible navigation setups. It also offers dynamic obstacle avoidance, so your AI agents aren't going to be stuck if things are moving around in your complex scenes. And it also uses the Burst Compiler Unity Job System and ECS under the hood. So that means you're gonna get pretty fast performance. There's gonna be multi-threading there that allows you to do all these calculations very, very quickly. Now, I will say this one isn't the cheapest at $70. So if you don't have a clear use for this, hold off, don't buy this. You don't need to buy it yet, even though it's on sale. Look, but if you do have a project or have some ideas for games in the future where you will be using pathfinding in some AI functionality that revolves around pathfinding, then I think this would probably be a good grab because $70, it might save you literally days of work. Now, these are just some of the things on sale. There's still plenty and plenty for you to go through and see what might fit you correctly. But yeah, I, I, I don't want to waste all your time. Look, go check out the sale. I'm sure there is something worth for you to buy. Check out the flash deal sales every day just to make sure that you don't miss out on something that it will be super cheap that you've been eyeing for some time. So those are just some of the assets that I thought were interesting that I've used myself or that I'm keeping an eye on and considering buying. Especially you, my quirky little animal pack. Let me know in the comments if there's any of the ones that you find interesting that you want to go buy or if there's some that I miss that you think I should check out. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you all in the next one. To my patrons, thank you as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.